I'm back. Walk through free. Lake shit. Let's go. Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking. Never stopping. Be an Albert in there as well. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. Well, I know they I know they're the fast fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Uh selfless. Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds. I'm doing all right, mate. I've, I've managed to do a lot of stuff around the house, which is good. Like it or not, which is good. It's a sinister competition. What today? An endless series of choices. Everything's large good. Large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance. The, the shopping came today. That's all sorted. Good times. Good times. Good times. Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bored. I'm sorry, mate, that's my train. Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. Fuck. And how are you, Bjorn? How is the um, um, security work going? Oh, you told me about the hospital stuff over the weekend. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. God, I don't know what... I couldn't do this type of job. Get naked, you wish. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Don't believe you can build it up. You can see it in my bicep when it's gonna leave me. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrong? <laughs> you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. You're I not wrong there. Driver, son. <sighs> Do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. Nearly, and we nearly filled up the recycling bin since it's only Monday. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions. That's what <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I know. Right. I know, I know what you meant. Face. I know. Just like that pig in a it was funny. It was funny. Get 
Not exactly. I'm, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. You're being an arsehole. <laughs> Your boyfriend's an arsehole. Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <sighs> Can I help you with something? I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my sign for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Why? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Mmm. Mm. I won't. I had to pick someone incredibly cunning. Okay. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in another world. That was rash. What was the bet for? A grand. A grand? A hundred of it is yours if you let me have those keys. Nah, two hundred. Okay. Deal. In cash tonight. I'm good for it. Oh, fuck. What? Check CCTV. I know. Oh, um, all clear. It's nothing. I nearly made a mistake there. <laughs> right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car, and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah. You're back here by one. Not a minute later. Yes, sir. Take pepper spray. Get over here. What for? Now! Well, she has the job anyway. I just got the kids, kids and the dogs to look after. What do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. Use pepper spray. Ah! Run! Get out of here now! Oh, oh, you fucking idiot! What the fuck? Get on your feet. Up! Oh! I get in the car. My dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do.
stay right where you are. No. I'm a fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. Do it! <clears throat> Fifteen feet onto the concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place. Kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be alright. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr. Wu that we missed the one chance to go out his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Take some calls and try and find a replacement in the next. Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. Irish Pete? What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Pretty cool. murder, I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Steal away. You stay where you are. But you said you wouldn't hurt me. No, I said I wouldn't kill you. But that still leaves lots of painful options. Make a suggestion. Not good at maths, are you, mate? It's not supposed to be. Minus one, plus one. That makes zero. Yeah, zero problems. Look. You need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. Why on earth would I trust him? Because he don't have a choice. Just like I don't. <sighs> I see your point. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. Oh, I geezer. In order to get my cut. Hang on, Bjorn. Money. Don't push your luck. Push it. Now, this is the fair I'll share trophy. So I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50 okay. 50. That's so I'm only so fans. You can't do this, <laughs> it's done. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't think I don't mean to arrange for ugly people. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He beat Outlast tonight. Well, Cam said he wasn't streaming, so um, I can't guarantee that I will. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? I've got Albert in here with me. Here they are, I'll be. Oh. Albert! Albert, what's the matter? Mystery ladies and difficult voices. <laughs> so much for the quiet night. I think we need some of what we're doing here. Nerve going already. Just like to be prepared, that's all. That's all. A very Is that only fans only Albert? I don't think there's been for dogs to go on only fans. There is on cameo. A careless business transaction. So we're here to help him get it back. We're here to stop the not in the bank. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up Stevens a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when they're finally worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy calls are you? Tonight I am. Agree. Yeah. 
Then the corn. I think we need to put porn stars. <laughs> right. Let's uh, let's uh. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred fifty thousand pounds. This marvellous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is. 150 grand for its time. Just Thank try to keep your powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Language, <laughs> Timothy. Try not talking at all. So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert. You know, Mr. Albert. Now he's staring and staring at me. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is it all there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces of okay, examples of the red done. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Last year, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. Brilliant. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Farr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. <laughs> you can't afford it. What did we say about that? <laughs> and so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four for the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five, get 20% of the sale price, Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm bidding. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. I'm looking for 9-5, ladies and gentlemen, 9-5. Nine, 9-5, five. Nine, five. Nine, five to my right. So do I hear 10? Matt, stop this. Talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break 10. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your 10 we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 10 is your bid, madam. Against you now, sir. So do I hear 10-5? You are so getting on with this. 10-5. 10-5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? 11 I have with the lady. I'm going to have a heart attack. 11, it's your bid, man. Yeah, 11, so we have 11-5. 11-5. Yeah, that's the price of a logarithmic curve. Derivative of product zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid. Your bid, 11, madam. 11-5. Trust me. 11-5. 11 11-5 11 I have. Thank you very much, sir. 11-5, it's your bid. It's against you now, man. It's against you, sir. 11-5. 11.5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. <laughs> Thank you, man. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bit at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 
Twelve five I have to my right. Thank you, sir. Twelve five. So do I hear thirteen? Against you now, man. Twelve five. Are we all out? At twelve five. Fair warning. I'm selling. Twelve five once. Twelve five twice. So to the gentleman mm. on my oh, right. Oh, I wonder why I had the. Thank you very much. He's dancing, is he? Yeah, he does that. Probably looking for a toy. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. That's Eddie. Uh, yeah, Eddie's fine. Right, where to? He actually, off he actually off offered to do a GT5 stream with me. And he wants to sell his, his old Xbox 360 games. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Provan. I did a paper round. I don't know, man. Okay, what are my options? Ten, though. I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. Up. <laughs> Into office size. That's amazing. I don't know if I've ever seen that scene before. And I've played this game so many times. Can you let Jeff call it down? Yeah, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it'd be funny if you appeared in this. Jackie, you can take these take these guys on in a fight. If they and they tried to start something. What the fuck did you do? Upstairs, let's go bring him. Hey Lee, we need to come out the front with the cars in front of the building. Yeah. Okay everyone! <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm someone's brandishing a gun, though. Come on! Open the door. Open the door. It's open. You, come with me. Come on! He could have, he could have easy just ran up the stairs. That would be the end of the game right there. Is that what I'm a 
fucking mind that I could trust you. You're a dead man. You should know this. Speak up. Why the fuck did you agree to do this? I thought you wanted in. I wanted to avoid a needle in the neck, man. Done it when we were up in the office. Oh, really? Nothing here, nothing there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bolt. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. It's up Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Oh, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! <laughs> Ground and pound doesn't exist in the street. Oh. It's a fraud! A fraud, I tell you! Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, shit. Mate. Mate, Ling. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. Right? Fuck. That's true. That's true. Take this bolt to the police where it belongs. What? You heard me. You have a warning for me. Are, are you out of your mind? Oh, look, I'm not a criminal, all right? You think the police will believe? I'm sure. I'm sure again. You were seen in the auction house. You are a criminal. No, no, I'm a security guard and I'm bringing the bolt back. You're an accessory, plain and simple. So what's your plan? We have to take this in Oh, come on! How do we know you were behind this accident? We take it to Hang the on, that's the best option. Or we turn ourselves Hang on. we're both accessories to a major crime. Which is it? Woos. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I can actually stream uh, the sub... Um, in this afternoon, I don't know if you were watching it. I watched some of it. It was kind of good. It got, it definitely got rather um, 
with the stupid donations at the end. So it was a good way to finish it. <laughs> uh, see, I see I've got enough space in my PS4 to download it, if, if I'm playing it, because I've never played Outlast before. Welcome to Hong Kong City, table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four, four on me, please. It's going well. Excuse me, we, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem, far this way, four on me, please. No, 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 mate, mate, mate. You want to see the manager? You want to no, see I can't. Manager? I'm not. see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. I've never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory query. He's, de you he's definitely putting on that accent. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, wait here. Oh, really? That's quite big. Cookie. Fuck that. Let's follow him. Fuck fortune cookies. Hey, I like them. Yeah. Yeah, see, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Wait, wait. What makes you believe you can just walk? It's hola, hola. It's Callum's cousin. It's Callum's. You want me to go into your home, just like that, huh? Come through. That's funny. Jose, you got me to go on. Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a ball. My ball? Adam, turn by each other. Managing to steal that ball. Quite impressive. Thank you. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond oh, measure. He's got a little, got a little something on his neck. I know how much they pay. Don't know what it is. Right. It's not a lump. Oh, I could be to add my life to the bill. He thought I can't hurt you in any way. It's just been there for a few days. Disbelief. If you know how much they pay, then you know your twenty percent is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! Your object. No. Fuck you. You owe us money and you know it. You made a deal for this. Take it. We don't want it. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fuck you. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Fuck you. Yeah. 
Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking great. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are. What did you put that for? You fucking did, didn't you? Oh, so of course. Oh, you're going along with the game. Stronger. Okay. And yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. <laughs> what do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go. Hey, uh, uh, Bjorn, do you know how Carol is? He's not streamed um, in a few weeks. So, oh, well, you don't know. Fair enough. Where did he get those from? Have seen. He knew nothing about the job. You look convincing, didn't you? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. John, thank you. Who believed me when the Channel News and I offered No, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the box. What? It's not fast. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, please. Hey, she's consenting. And this will be the Star Crossed Lovers Trophy.
Oh, okay. Yeah. Downstairs. They're coming. Break it. Well, now I've already paid it, so. Remind me, remind me. Give me the ball. Trust. Please. Come on. Keeping us alive. The one thing. Why would you do that? It's total madness. Tell me why. Because it was a fake. Uh, so what? If it was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? That makes so much fucking noise. Fuck. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lied to just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. So I need your help to get it. Please. You have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? Yeah, I'll trust her. Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything. It's the boys. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay? I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. We'll start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy was selling the vault? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself? You didn't believe that now, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit! <laughs> Where's the original now? I don't know. Believe. I can see Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it at Hainsworth. They would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake the age of porcelain. Dating is based on a bit called bioluminescence. Bioluminescence? Yeah, it is a process to tell. <laughs> like in a burning vehicle, you mean? Oh, it's a strip club, you knobheads. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, he would, he would hate being in that, being in there. He's gonna regret this. <gasps> I won't let him get away with it. Beating up with a problem. Well, it's a start. Matt, 
Matt, you are not serious. They won't touch us. They won't touch you, you mean? We don't really have much choice. Yeah, well, my father's thought of one thing. It's in a situation like this, you're best off smacking the biggest guy right in the face before he does. Come on. You didn't believe that. Hey, you. Keep calm. So we're busted up this way, mate. How the fuck should I know, smug boy? Keep calm. Come on, let him be. Honestly, mate, I've got a bus to catch, all right? You got a bus to catch, have you? Let him go! <laughs> Oh, more like a limousine, if you ask me, smug boy. The police. It's okay. We're only here for the play, aren't we? Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Guy nearly choked me. I'm sorry. You were probably right. Oh yeah, that was the choices matter trophy. The auction guy Jeffrey nearly strangled. He had access to the bowl right after the expert on stage had it. And before we stole it. It could be him. That's him. What's his number? Hang on. That's threatening. Oh, oh I'm so sorry to be late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, of course. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's Hospital. How is he? He got he beaten got up, beaten remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you see <laughs> No, I didn't do that. Jeff getting his kicks. Gonna go to the reception or just go straight through? Hundred forty now, I think. I'm sorry, but we're in a bit of a hurry. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, no, uh, no, Sebastian the clerk. I'm afraid. Maybe they took him to guys. That was a lie. Excuse me. Just like he lies in the garage. Taking his keys? Oh, I was trying to have a risk. Wait. Shit. She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she's certainly not going to tell you he's in room 73. What? He didn't tell you anything? So, um, here's the gun. Sure, that's it. No, my work. That boy from Pops is coming there. Jane's in the detective. This audio in this game is way weird. It goes up and down. Oh my god. I know. I'm 
Didn't, didn't. Never mind. Oh. Okay. Bits of you that hurt already are going to get much worse. Do you understand me? Do we have an agreement? Yes. Good. Now tell us about Eddie. What's on your path? You know you replaced the porcelain rice bowl with a forgery. It's a lay. Physical pressure. <laughs> Where is the rice bowl? Stolen. Look at me, I was beaten up. Frightening. Where is it? Where'd you put the original? I didn't put it anywhere. Oh, remove oxygen. I know you switched it, Sebastian. Where is it? I haven't taken. This is a definite line. Do I really want to cross this? Stop. That is the interrogation trophy. You can't talk to someone in the hospital bed. Don't you get too comfortable, mate. You're still up to your neck in this, all right? The choice are after anyone who came into contact with their bowl. Now what? We know he swapped it, but where did he take it? That's right. We do know he swapped it. And he must have reported it to Pa. I don't understand. But you're the one who made the thing. Okay? So Pa knows you'd recognize it in an instant. What do you think he'd say if he thought Laughing Boy here had fucked up in all the excitement? Let's find out. Oh, this could be different if he doesn't have his card with him. It's half 30 in the morning and he locked it on the first ring. He doesn't have it. He's waiting for the news. Oh, I think the, the heating's about to come on. Yes, I'm still here. What the hell happened tonight? People are dead. I was involved, but the job was a fake, and so was the accident. Just too convenient. The ball in fire, and possible to be I survived the crash. Yes, yes, I did. And it's lucky for you that I did, because your inside man, whoever he was, fucked up. Oh, stop pretending. I've got the original. I can tell the difference between the original and the forgery, Mr. Puff. I'm calling because I want to make an offer. And offer you can't refuse. I'm not interested. I don't care. I'm prepared to bring you the original, but I want protection from the choice. Think it's over. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he does get the. Wait for it. Oh, he doesn't take it. Say it's somewhat in your best interest to help us stop Pa. Wouldn't you agree? He's dead. Maybe. We? Where is the original? I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage. So it's still inside Hainsworth. I feel alright actually. I did have a little snooze in the afternoon. Will this get us into the vault? 
Lucky. Ah, she picks up then. Do you know how Rasta is, uh, Bjorn? I know that he's. I know that. I know that last time we talked with him, he was working. So, don't know if anything's changed since then. Oh yes, this is a bit where the kid that kidnapped. No. Okay. So, I don't know. Talk to you, the receptionist, because we went up the stairs before. Different receptionist this time. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How can I help? How can I help? Um, pick up Pa's. Hard to pick up an item. What was it? It was an item bought last night by Mr. Samuel Pa. No. No, it's not on my list. Do you have your documentation? No. I was told my copy will be waiting at this desk. Can't do anything without the lot numbers. Would you like to speak to someone upstairs? No. No, no. I need to speak to my boss about this. I'll be back. Very well, sir. <laughs> There is no way I'm getting away with this. I should have gone straight to Pars in the first place. This is it. I don't remember this scene either. Oh, so he's going to go straight to, to the man himself. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're actually near the end of the game, actually. Good morning. Have an appointment with Samuel Parr? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Uh, I think I'll try, but I can't do it on. 
on street while I'm streaming. You intrude at the crack of dawn, my friend. I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, is it? Don't know yet. Because what was stolen... I'll fix, I'll fix in some time. The original is safe and in your possession. Don't know how long I'm going to stream it, because I'm probably going to get very scared. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt, how did you come by this extraordinary theory? I was standing right next to Mei Ling when she called you. I know the whole story. Oh, really? Yeah. And we were both standing next to Sebastian the Clark when you called him. So stop with the fucking pretending. T -t 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 language, dear boy. <laughs> All right, Hannibal Lecter. I thought Mei Ling had the original. Yeah, well, apparently not. Well, as the two of you have so balls for comfort, Brit. What can I possibly tell you? We can discuss this sensibly or not. I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? But wait. All right. Oh sensibly God. in my study. Yeah, lead on. Lead on, Squire! Brilliant. Being obsessed about my balls. Where's the ball? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. It's a lie. It's the truth. It's lying. Intimidate him. What do you think the chores have to say about all of this? Joys will never believe you. I am a respected member of the community, and you clearly are not. Keep intimidating. You're willing to take that risk? Tony Wu was a respected member of the community. They had no trouble killing him, did they? I will destroy everything in here. Uh, not now, will I? All right, all right. The bowl is here. I clicked at the chest last night. Show it to me. Sorry. Let him. This conversation is over. Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Let him live. I am serious. Don't shoot, don't shoot. It isn't here. It's still at Hainsworth's. You said you picked it up last night. I couldn't get it. Not with the police there. It's still in the vault. And when's it being delivered? When? Why would I tell you? Okay. I did that in the last walkthrough, Bjorn. Wait here. Were you not here for that? No, 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 wait. What? Keep me out of this. I'll give you a million pounds if you keep... <sighs> I'm not going to do a round mode. Behave yourself. You can take a hundred thousand pounds right now, right out of the safe. Rest later. No. What? And you get scot free, do you? Scot free. Reject. And that is the delivery trophy. No, I don't think so, Mr. Parr. There are some things in life your money can't buy. And I'm one of them. Who are you calling? Sit down. <laughs> yeah, it's me. The ball's been delivered to Samuel Parr's house. Sometime today, I don't know. No, 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 no. You, you have to keep her alive. You have to believe me. Okay. I said no. No, no, listen. You... Hello? Chinese fuckers. I think just because they owned it once, it's theirs forever. That's racist. Who are you? 
<laughs> don't look as if you park cars. The shame doesn't show how many scenes there are in this game. Delivery from Mr. Park. There it is, right on schedule, with a couple of goons. I didn't understand a word that he was saying. Sweet Peter with it. Oh, hilarious. He actually did once, and then he hit me in the eye. Where's my Where's my link? We don't know. We don't know. She lives. She lives. What did she do? You was pissed off about it. One of those things hits me in the bloody eye. Oh, okay. So we go to the choice. Will Mailing still be alive? Yeah, well, he gets away with everything. That's why Ziggy runs in, Ziggy runs in, because he's scared of it. Seven three one. Let me take off. What did he say? Goodbye. Hmm. I don't think mm, maybe should be alive. Because we didn't have the whole interrogation bit like before. Mike. Oh, that's Mike, my knife. Mike. Mike, oh, they used the knife. Can you say police? Yeah, here we go. And that, my friend, is the end of the end. Okay, so we found all the chapters and made 56 decisions as four possible endings. And on that note, thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake. I will have to. I will. I'll, I'll not. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. It's so annoying. I fucking interrupt. Um, thank you, Bjorn, the only person to be on my stream. Uh, this is Face Radio. I'd like to subscribe. And I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Or tonight, maybe. Bye.